Well, folks, if you're just joining us once again, we're watching a New York State 10 ball championship. We're coming to you live from Mr. Q Billiards in Lindenhurst, New York. I'm upstate Al. I got Pete Tascarella. I got Scott Murphy. I don't know if Pete's going to hang in. I, I'd love to have his company. I'm sure Scott Murphy's going to join us. These guys didn't give me any chance to get started. Mike DeShane and Jason Shaw flip for the coin, and Mike's about to break in game one. Give me a little bit of time to set the scoreboard up for you. And meanwhile, we're right back in fire. Upstate Joe, and I think we're going to have Larry Ross switch up um, with Pete Tascarella. Thanks, Pete, for staying in. Appreciate it. I got to crank those mics down as these guys change. This is the match you're watching right now. Race to seven. Keep that in mind. This could be a quick race. Both players are allowed to go off. What's going on? Okay, guys, a guest commentator, a special man in, in his own right, Mr. <laughs> Earl Strickland. Thanks, Al. Welcome aboard, Earl, and congratulations, sir. Yeah. In the hot seat. Pulled one out. I got a few good breaks there. He, he broke really well. The, I think it was 7-7, seven, seven, and the ball got had, kicked in the side. That was good for pocket. me. And then, and then uh, I got a good roll there. He made a good shot and got scratched, kissed off a ball on the side. Earl, let me ask you a question. I notice sometimes when you break, and I just recently noticed it watching you all the time, your forearm sometimes is right underneath that, that yeah. short rail. Is that, is that a technique that you, you, you're trying to I did figure out a few things uh, in the last few breaks. Uh, you noticed uh, in the last few breaks I hit, I hit them really well. Yeah, you did. Right? You yes, noticed you did. that, right? This I changed a little something the way I'm aiming the cue, uh, what spin I'm hitting, what aim side of the cue ball. Right. So that I think that had some impact on. I had a break and a run there. Yeah, you know I mean? seen it. I broke and ran a rack. So that's. I watched every rack. Something positive, right? Sure, absolutely. You guys absolutely. watch me break a lot. I, I don't make, make a ball. I don't until make nothing. I noticed he was making a top. Any one of the top no, two balls was going in the side. You guys pocket. watch me a lot. I don't make balls on the break. Right. So that hurts me, you know. So until until it was seven up, you started making balls off the break. But I changed a little something, and I think it's something positive right now. So hopefully it keep working, but. This table's playing extremely tough on the break, really. It's, uh, I see it. The cloth is old. It's you know the table's great. It's just got an older felt on it right now, and uh, right, four to, the four shots and a quarter have, inch pockets. The shots have to be a little better too, because they won't scrub off the rails as much. And yep. And then you get a few little funny bounces on the position, so you got to be careful. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, you just touch the rail going in, and you, that ball will just stay up yeah, in the you, pocket. You got to be careful where you leave the cue ball because uh, you don't want to get straight in too much. You can't get out of that. Unless you can draw out of it. This cue ball is a little tougher to draw, uh, too, because, you know, the cloth's old, see? You understand? See, I'm like sorry, that I ball. Lost, who won that first game? I, I lost. Jason won it. Jason won it? Okay, yeah. good. But you okay, see how right. that one ball didn't get to the pocket. I broke one just like that. The one, I thought it was going in, and it stopped like it was in the Dead Sea all at once. Yeah. yeah. So those little fact, those are little things that play a factor, you know what I mean? Definitely. And, and breaking on this table. That one on the new on the new felt that one would have been in and Jason would still be shooting. So, you know, that's the difference. But Mike's got an awful good break. He he can really still make the balls go in with this with this old felt. You know, he can still get the balls in the pocket. He's yeah. Well, he's, know, got, he's got power. You know, he really does. He's got a hell of a break. One break, he just really just muscled two balls in the pocket. I didn't think he could get anything in, and he did. <laughs> he did. But. But he saw me get up and hit him good one time, and he got scared. <laughs> yeah, well, he did get scared. You absolutely well. Joking. Anybody would too. Earl, no, don't be that. Well, modest. let's see what the match is doing you, here. He's going to go two rails for the five ball. Uh, I think he can either try to break it out. No, he didn't get the angle. He's going to play to the the safety. I guess that's the only thing he can do. He's going to draw back, play the six in the side, 
and then he's going to play the seven in the corner. Slow it's going to be tricky getting to the getting to the safety unless he can stop right here. I can't tell exactly how these balls are laying, but he'll stop this and just bank the eight around the table and freeze him. That's what he should do. Quite a he got a little funny bank. though. It yeah, looks like back a little bit. Looks like the me's got to bank it in, but I think he can just bank it around the table. He's not sticking. He's cutting it. Yeah. Oh, he's cutting it in. Oh, yeah. it goes. I didn't know it goes. Oh, great. That was the wrong shot. Well, you look noticed, how it come out now. You noticed I never said nothing about cutting <laughs> that ball in. <laughs> Coming from Earl, I think that is the wrong shot. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it might have been there. I don't Jason know. But bank. that looked like an awful difficult shot to me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I know you're uh, in for a treat. Mr. Earl Strickland in the booth. We always love to have him on board. But you know what? It doesn't maybe, get any better. Maybe he couldn't play for the uh, – for the uh, safety, you know what I mean? It wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. because of the angle so, he got, yeah, sure. But here he, he's got a pretty good roll. He, he snookered him a little. I think he can mass it around it or he can make it, either one. That was an unforced error out of Jason. He should have won that. Well, he landed in a tough spot on the nine. That was no easy shot. That was a nice shot right there, even though. Well, he went for the shot and won the No, I think it. he played that. Think he played that kick? Yeah, wow. I, I literally think he played that shot. That was a clever shot. Because he couldn't get position, Al. If he made the shot spinning around it, he could not get position. Yep. So This is true. That wasn't a bad play. I think he did that deliberately. Good that was call. pretty clever. This is tough, Earl. Do you just go wide open? Yeah, these are the spots. I'm, I, I, I don't ever know what to do here play either. The, play the nine towards the ten. Try to buckle them you up. You've got to play the simplest shots you can play because if you don't, you'll sell out. And I sell out a lot from here. I, you know, I'll be the first to say it, you know. All, well, you're only all, pros, all pros lose from here, don't worry. <laughs> a lot. So Jason's calling the bottom right I think right all he can corner. do is thin the ball over in the side rail. With the, with He's banking it? He tried to bank it. Wow. But this way he leaves some distance now. That wasn't a bad play. You know why? Because look at the distance he left from the nine and the cue ball. And that's, that's not a bad play, but he's left him a little air on the rail. He should make this and draw back. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, he should make this. He left him too much air on the bottom row. Can't touch any part of that pocket. Yeah, that was that was no good. That shot. So we can say that after he screwed it up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if, you know, if, you, if, if he would have landed the cue ball closer to the rail, it would have been a, 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 an effective shot. But I still like just thinning the ball over maybe and leaving him a bank side row. You could have did that as but well. But I don't. Doesn't look like he maybe could do that either. So. You know, sometimes when you're looking on the screen here, you can't tell exactly yeah, you can. what you're dealing with. Sometimes. Agree. Okay, we're tied at one. We're coming to you live from Mr. Q, Lindenhurst, New York. Well, Scott we appreciate Murphy. all your work, Al. We hey, appreciate Earl, uh, your we, I can't tell you how many people. Time we got about, and 600 effort you put people, in. about 600 people in here. Yeah. And you, you, you're a drawer, Earl. Well, you know, along with everybody else. But you know what? When you mention Earl Strickland, when I'm playing well, I'm fun to watch. I really am. Yeah, I'm yeah you, are. you know, I'm playing well. I just don't break well. <laughs> you know, we're enjoying it. I mean, you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Know, there's going to come times when, look, there's other players that get angry too because they didn't, right. they didn't come out the way it's supposed to be. All but right, you know the chain's breaking. Let's watch his. You're break. having a great this time. This guy's got a lot of power. And he when really you does. have a great time, we all have a great time. He's got incredible power. He drove that ball on the side. He didn't get a good shot on the one. He's unlucky there. The, actually, the cue ball got kicked back. Yep. He would have had a shot, so he got a little unlucky there. That's the break I'm talking about. Those one of those two top Yeah, he, go he's good at side. driving those in because he hits them so square. I think he might know? be able to see the one here. He can see it, but he, he, he can play a good safe probably. Bring Probably put him over behind the around the four ball. Nice. Oh, like to it. bank it down table. Well, he was trying to come over by the four. Yeah, he was. He underhit it. Well, he left a shot. I've noticed I've been playing bad safeties lately myself, so I'm not gonna get mad at him over that one. I've been playing some pretty raunchy safeties lately. Well, because you're constantly running out, Earl. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I'm shooting well. Yeah, you sure that was are. unlucky. He got snookered there. No, yeah, no, he's on the made. three. That's no, right. I thought the two was behind the three there. He's okay. Now, when you say you, you've been playing uh, horrible safeties, do you mean today? Well, at times lately. I, you know, because any times. other time I see it, they're pretty sharp. I play some good ones, but I, I've been playing some uh, real uh, sloppy ones, too, you know, here and there. And that's not that's uncharacteristic of me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I you absolutely. Yeah, I used to play a good save. Efren taught me that. I just uh, <laughs> played him 100, not, what, 152 <laughs> times. <laughs> so I, I bound to learn something out of 152 matches. Huh? 
But he's got an open table here. When you give Jason an open table, he should take care of it. Yeah. But he's landed a little funny right here, I'll tell you. He's got to draw out of this or pound it, one or the other. He's it gonna looks, pound it. looks like he's going to go forward and come he's out. He's going to pound it. Yeah. He pounded Ooh, it. Wow. This is what I don't like about this now. He's landing straight in. Straight see? on, yeah. But oh, he's, he, the good thing is the nine's right, right. there. Right. That's, that's fortunate. Yeah, if you land like that any other way, you wouldn't like it. I still don't like landing like that, though. I don't know why. Even if the next ball's right there. <laughs> when you're rail to rail like that, it's scary. But, you uh, pass that side pocket. Jason, you can't give him an easy table. Yeah. He'll clean them up quicker than I do. He'll get in that rhythm, and he'll clean yeah. up, boy. He'll clean them up real quick. But now you got 2-1, Jason Shaw. It's a crap shoot from here, really, you know. It's only a race I to still seven, say, though. You know, lose side, race to seven, so you know, DeShane's the favorite over both of us, really, because he breaks the balls better than we do. But he, you know, he's suspect at times on this game. So that's the, that's the vulnerability he has. Well, it depends on who it is. You well, know. well, he, if someone can young. put some pressure on him, you're right. That's right. He's young. It takes a great player to put some right. pressure right. on him. You're right. You're exactly right about it. That's a good. There was a couple balls that were missed in the that corner. That was a good point, yeah. Two last, last match. Yeah, he missed the five ball. I probably wouldn't have missed that shot myself. No, I I'd have peppered so. that one. <laughs> I just, well, I guess you, well, you, missed, that. Well, you missed that five ball too now. Yeah, but I, the, where did I miss the five? Which right, up in the corner. Up in the corner. Yeah. A, I usually can remember them all. Fair, but, oh, a, yeah. It was a shot that you were guaranteed to get out 10 yeah. out of 10 and just came up. Yeah. You missed the five. But, uh, you know. But, you know. I, I live cool. for the tough shot. I don't mind I the know tough you shot. Do. You know what I mean? I don't mind I the tough shot. Uh, I'll never forget the story you told me before you went out to the Moscone as you were jogging every day to five and six miles. The only thing you wanted and you were wishing for was to get the hardest shot in the tournament. And I got the hardest shot, the first shot. <laughs> yeah, you did. Of the, man, of the whole thing. <laughs> you did, I had to too. make a long. You remember that? Did you see it? Yes, I did. It was out in the middle of the table. I had to, had to fire it in and run out. <laughs> so you got your wishes. Be careful what you wish for. I did. <laughs> I told you, you that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. told you that at Steinway. Yes. I says, I'm waiting for the hardest shot, and I'm going to make it, didn't nope. I? Yeah. Huh? You did. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready for that Moscone Cup. Unfortunately, we, we weren't all ready. Uh, yeah. You know? yeah. We're not pointing any fingers or naming any no. names, but I think they can figure it out from here. It's but good. It's all good. Some of, some of us wasn't ready. You know? Water under so the bridge. There was that. another impressive uh, shot and, you made in the Moscone and Cup. And, you know, you got to remember, too, things went their way a little bit, and then it, fired, and then it snowballed. You know what yeah. I mean? And it got out of hand. So, Hey, Earl, we got a good question in the chat. Do you have to get – is this a true double elimination format? Uh, I'm or not sure. I'm not sure about that. Believe it or not, we were all at the It's probably a meeting, single elimination including here. myself, but – I would have to say it's a single elimination. Well, the I only, mean, that ain't fair. You played all day today, Earl. You got no losses. I don't find that fair either. I agree. Yeah. Well, either way, I'll have to accept it. So that's just the way it is. All right. All right, Jason, uh, what's the score? We're at 2-1. Two two one. One. Okay. He went to the bathroom, and now he's All right. taking a little while on the rack. I was actually on YouTube the other night, Earl. I was watching the jump shot you made, the three. You were jumping from the bottom right-hand corner over a ball. I don't remember what ball, but you made the three in the corner. And I didn't expect that. I thought you were going to play safe. And, and everybody jumped up. I believe it was in 2013 Yeah. when it was. Yeah, I think it was maybe you and Archer. Well, I've been known to surprise you. Here, surprise here me. My jaw hit Sometimes the floor. when I jack up, you don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but they didn't know. Fortunately for Poole in 1983 when I think it was John Vinsky was his name. I've never seen the guy again, maybe once or twice 30 yeah. years ago. But when I went to jump the first ball ever on television, one of the commentators didn't know what I was doing. He said he's going to curve it. And the other guy said no. He said, this guy jumps balls. Uh -huh. heard, heard about it. He says, he's going to jump it. And I jumped over it, and that was the first one ever. So he got it right. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe they got the first one right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We do get lucky time to time. Yeah. <laughs> but that guy was pretty clever. He did his homework, you know. He found out that I jumped balls before he did the inter you know, the yeah. commentary. So he definitely that, did that his homework. Good homework there. And uh, that that. Unchained the monster. That was it. Mm -hmm. Jump cues were created, yep. uh, and uh, I kind of sealed my own fate. You hey, know what I mean? Earl, mm -hmm. a question in the chat earlier today. What do you what do you think about the format for the U.S. Open? 
the entry well, I, fee. I like what they're doing. I, I wish it was two thousand dollars in entry fee. That way, there'd be some money in the tournament. <laughs> yeah. If we get it, you know, if we just get a certain amount of players. Yeah, yeah. You know, Could I be, don't know. You know, do you think they're gonna fill? I'm ready deal? to play the best player there. Yeah, That's just the way I look at That's it. How you Everybody are, else wants a bunch of monkeys first. I don't. I want to get up and play Efren first or Shane. Doesn't right. matter if I beat them. I get them out of the way. Yeah. You know. And then you'll deal with the monkeys. Yeah, so you so think they're going to fill the field of 128? I, I wish you'd go to a little longer race. If it's a race, if you want to spend that, uh, you charge that much for an entry fee, I think they should give us the benefit of the doubt and play in at least a race to 13. Yeah. Or 15 or something like that. Yeah. You know? So that's a, that's an avenue, too. I, yeah, I'm sure he avenue. won't do it. But, but I also say, yeah, because but it could be I an love to down the game. road. Huh? It could be an avenue down the road, though. I just rather play a little longer match if you want to charge so much for me to play in a tournament. So it's only fair to me, you know. Yep. Right. So, but it's been a race to 11 format. They've changed it a few times to 13, just a couple of times. But other than that, it's always been a race to 11. But I still think it should be a little bit longer. That's just the opinion, opinion I got on the tournament. I like it longer. Yeah. Uh, 13 would be just right, really. Double elimination race to 13. Thousand dollar entry fee. So that's. That's what I'm looking for, but I'm sure I won't get the race to 13. I'm getting the other part. I, I, I don't think it's a bad idea. That's my opinion. Not on at it. all. Getting back to the field, do you think they're going to fill the field of 120? That's going to be tough to do, obviously. That's the most skeptical part about it. I don't it. mean to put you on the spot, but, you know, we, we're just asking. Will, will we get a full field? That's the, the you know, the $10,000 question right now with that. But uh, I say no. I sure hope so, though. But I hope so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'd say 100 players. Really? Yeah, maybe. Is that what you said? Yeah. Larry Ross said 100 players, too. So That would be nice. But if they get 128, I'd love for them to prove me wrong. Uh, oh, sure, absolutely. You know what I mean? I, I would love, I'd love for them to prove I me agree. wrong. I agree. I agree. I wish them the I'm best. I'm not going to dispute it at all if I'm wrong. Pull that field. I've been wrong before, haven't pull you, that, pull, <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm far from perfect. You can bet on that. <laughs> I'm not like those golfers. They're too perfect. Oh, that, that, they're just perfect. Don't get, me on, don't get me on the golf. No, I'm just joking. No, I got to get you on the golf. I'm just joking. And I'm going to get you on the golf because you were over here and you were entertaining the crowd early this afternoon. Right. And you had a, like an imaginary microphone in your mouth and you go, ah, you were kind of whispering. Yeah. What was that all about? Fill us well, in. I was telling them when they're, they're talking about a guy, boy, I hope he makes this putt. If he doesn't make this putt, he's going to lose another stroke. And, you know, they talk a little oh. low like that. Man, he's in a lot of trouble. Now. Yards away. <laughs> but he's like, they can't even hear him. <laughs> so I'm wondering why they're whispering when the guy can't even hear them. But they're so hush-hush, that golf, you know. That's what I love about pool. This game has a little more atmosphere as far as I'm concerned. Even the claps. This game is, like, uncontrollable. Forget about it. Those guys can control the golf course, but you can't control the pool table. <laughs> right, <laughs> Unless yeah. you're breaking and running out every time. Well, you know I mean? and I actually questioned Earl, and I said, what do you mean you can't control it? You're up at the table, you got control. Earl says, yeah, yeah that's all good. He yeah. says, but when you're playing alternate break format or your opponent breaks and leaves you safe, it's out of your control. Yeah, absolutely you're, it's, true. everything's <laughs> out of your control in this game. And that's why people quit it. That's why people play this game. And they have a few beers instead of taking it serious. <laughs> no, seriously. You know, no, they, they know that they can't play the game and it's just too difficult. So they just rather just socialize and drink and kind of lollygag over a game and not never take it serious, see. Mm -hmm. But, of course, we're not like that because we're, you know, more, we're more avid players and uh, we love the game more. And we take it serious. Right. So, well, you know, people that go out on the weekend, they have all the jobs and their occupations. And when you yeah. do this, you got to get in it. Yeah, this game here, it really is, it, it ain't like basket weaving, that's for sure, I'll no, tell you. No, definitely not. Or tiddlywinks, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you can forget about it. John Madden made a statement one time to check that pole was in the categories of checkers and old maid. And I lost a lot of respect for that guy. Is that what he said? Yeah, I said, because he thinks football is the greatest game in the world or the greatest sport. I so. don't know about old maid now. You know, I love football and I love a lot of sports, but I still say pulls greater game than all of them. I'm not. Be because I'm going to tell you why. Pool lends itself to everyone. It discriminates no one. It excludes no one. You can play from age 6 to 96. You don't need a football field. You don't need a golf course. You just need a pool table and don't some need friends. A hoop. Nope. Believe me, this game has, has 
lent itself to many, many people. It's a beautiful game it played is. by ugly people. <laughs> no, that's something Joe Rogan made <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, he did. He, he did. No, he fabricated my words. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you what I said. Out of complex. I said this <laughs> years ago. I said, I remember what I said. Pool's a beautiful game, but it's a, it's a victim of circumstance. Right. And he took that and re, re, you know, worded it. Did That's all find, he did. Did you find it funny, though? That's what he did, I'm yeah, telling you. Did you find it funny, honestly? Not really. I wanted really? to fight when I first heard it. Not just <laughs> 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 when I first saw him, I said, you got any boxing gloves with you? <laughs> he wanted to go in the ring. But let's forget about all that. But yeah. not like I was saying it's before, I want to say one last thing. That, you know, like I said, pull, it discriminates no one, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody out there listening? It discriminates no one, okay? You can't go race a car 200 miles an hour, all right? But you can come play pool with me, the greatest pool player that ever lived. Absolutely. And that's the beauty of this game. Amen. And, the, and, the, and, the, and why people can't see what we see in pool is beyond my belief. It really is. I understand every sport, and nobody understands mine. And I'm going to leave it at that. DeShane's getting ready to pocket the nine ball. They can Let's socialize. get back to the match. They can socialize with you, too, Earl. He should make this down so. in the corner. Just hold the cue ball right there for the 10. And 10 ball straight in. With a little is, bit of, is he'll, put a, he'll put a little bit of right bottom on this or roll it in with a little right. He'll do one or the other. He'll probably roll it in with a little right. Yep, just a little right. There All you, you guys out there, when you see that little angle on the ball, don't try to shoot it without spin. Put a little bit of spin on them to help them in the hole. Now, how would, how would they know what what side spin to use? Well, if you got a little angle to the to the left, to put a little right. If you got a little angle to the right, put a little left. All right, I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat you because I asked because I didn't know that. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's the deal. Well, if that, that ball's to the right, put a little right. And then if it's to the left, put a little left. It's just a little angle on it. Don't try to roll them in without spin, especially the last ball. So you can miss it more without spin. Last couple so. events I've been shooting more and more. I think I want to start shooting seriously. Yeah. Serious, serious. Spin. No, no. The spin's important. No the casual spin. having a couple beers, get talking. The no, only, I think the I only way play. to enjoy this game like I have is to spin the ball. There's no doubt in my mind. It's just the most beautiful game in the world. Once you learn how to spin it and, and, and know how it correct and know how it's going to curve and make the ball, that's just, it's just a beautiful thing. It's a, it's an art. That's, it really is. It took me 43 years to learn how to do it, and I still don't know how to do it. Man, exactly you've been right. playing good since you what? Your prime was what? 22. But I but 21? I got some cue ball. Oh, I tell you, you're always putting yourself down. I got a lot of I way. got a lot of cue ball. I really do. Yeah, he's so I got modest. more cue ball than Earl the chain right now because Trust I'm much me. older. See, yeah, that's the difference. Earl's but he's got a, he's got more power than me, but I got more spins. Well, you're, and you're a little stuff. older now too. Yeah. don't forget that. That's the difference too. Now you, now you go on YouTube.com and you press 1988 Keith McCready versus. I'm Earl surprised Strickland. at some of the shots uh, Jason yeah. has missed. I really am. I'm dumbfounded yeah. at some of the shots he's missed. He his his head's not clear right now. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Something about the the spin. But anyway. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Shaw missed that shot. He's going to play safe here. He'll just roll in behind the five. No. He play, oh, he played. That was a nice shot. I didn't see that. He played Did he a, back? I thought he played Well, you know, he had a big pocket with the eight ball sitting there. See? Yeah. He, that's why he played that shot. Oh, he played a carom off the ball with the one ball. Oh, is that what he did? That was a nice shot. Very creative. Nice C there. Sometimes you don't see those shots. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're there and you don't see them. Yeah. You're looking at the safety before you even see the shot. Yeah. And that's what I did, kind of. But I've been lollygagging and running my mouth about other things instead of the match. So. Well, you, you know, you get locked into a zone, and that's he's, all you see is that is the one safe, and you don't really realize But once you get in that rhythm. He's in good position here. He should go back and forth, or he could slow roll this and spin it in, too. I'd probably go back and forth like that just to make sure. But he let his cue ball get a little... A little further down the table than I would have liked. He'll just go two rails now, in between or draw, either one. He hits these shots good. He splits the draw. I would follow this, two rails. It's the easiest shot. The only thing is, he shot it different. Watch the rock. He might scratch he it. Coming to the I corner? wouldn't have shot it that way. He shot it wrong. He, should, he was supposed to come between the two balls. Get between, between the, the eight and the, and the ten, yeah. With a flat ball. Come out long, yeah. That was risky the way he shot that one. Very risky. He didn't like the other way to shoot it. But see, I like all the ways. You understand? Yeah, you do. You're an all I know player. all the little variations on these shots, and I'm telling you, they ain't one of them scares me. <laughs> and that's the difference. See, these guys won't get used to some of these shots for a few more years. 
It's, it's just yeah. the way pool is. You're afraid of certain shots, and then you start taking them on well, as you uh, get older. You see things before they happen, Earl. Yeah. In they, pool, they, they absolutely. Might not even recognize that shot. Earl, that was tricky afraid. there. See, he, he, you know, that was no man's land a little bit. But I think he got away with it. I think he can get out of this. He'll either bounce back and he'll shoot the 10 in the side or he'll come forward and shoot the 10 in the corner. Yeah, he was fortunate there. Yeah, he was. Well, he's, he's quite fortunate. He might tie this up at three. Keep this in mind. ball, you can roll it or draw it a little bit. It was surprising to see Sherman. He'll probably those. shoot it with a little left and just roll it or half draw, stun it, Mike. Yeah, uh, he rolled it. He mm -hmm. rolled that one. So you people out there listening that uh, when I'm talking about half drawing and rolling the ball, you, you, there's two ways usually to shoot that last ball like that, and you got to make a decision and commit yourself. Let me make a statement here also. If you want to take private lessons from Earl Strickland, you can always get in touch with Earl Strickland through Steinway. You call Steinway, see if you can set up an appointment. $75 an hour, that, Al, yeah. minimum of two hours. Minimum that was a nice plug. I, don't, I wasn't expecting that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Minimum but, of two uh, hours, right, Earl? Yeah, yeah. it's 3-3 three, three now. Deshane's breaking. Race to seven. Uh, Deshane's going to try to power one of those balls on the side. Watch, watch the, the two tops. He's got a lot of power. The two tops. There goes the two. Whoa, yeah, it went right towards it, but he didn't He didn't get one. Unless this, the corner balls are not going. The four rails, you notice that? They're, none of those are going. Right. They're the going short every time. Right. No, the four railers. You know, the ball goes four rails sometimes. The comes, corner balls. Comes around the whole table. Yeah, they're yeah. not. They're not going. So I haven't seen one of those go tonight. But here's another open table for Jason. But I think Two the balls. four's tied up or something. Two balls up on top with the seven nine. Oh, they're tied up. No, he's got a shot right into the corner pocket. The two nines dead. The seven nines dead. That's the seven nine up I think top. The two, I think the two goes right into the corner. He's yeah, he can make the two. To, I'm looking over the over to the table. Now, what I think the seven nine's dead. What would he come for the three? Two rails? No, he's the, just, I'm gonna tell you the three's tricky. It's frozen on the that's side. That's why. Rail. Yeah, that's why I ask. Ooh. He's got to roll up. He can't go nowhere. Looks he's like just he's got, trying to get oh, below God. it. He wants to get below it. Oh wow! Well, that was a good shot. Yeah, this way he doesn't have to deal yeah. with that side pocket. You know. I still would have just rolled up maybe and followed that ball down. You know, sometimes going by that side pocket is scary, man. You He's know? all right now, though. He can draw. Those tips think, of those side pockets seem to grow. I think he can draw out and play the four past the ten in the corner. Yeah, he's all right now. That was the right shot, what he shot. I didn't know he was that straight in on the two ball. I thought he had an angle. I didn't think he could draw back like that. Right. Of course, like I said, you can't tell on the screen here exactly. Right, the angle, yeah. He's going to follow this back over. He oh. couldn't make the ball. He couldn't make the ball in the corner. He must have called the 10 ball. And see, that's why I didn't like playing that like that, because I would have rolled up and shot the three in the corner and rolled down and played the four in the side. side pocket, right. I don't know why he didn't do that. Because I think he was scared of the tips of that nah, shot. Nah, he's got to take, take that shot on. You, can, you can't. Uh, wait, sometimes wait. you just got to take what. You know, you got and try to, you know, that was a nice shot there. Yeah, it was. That really was a great shot. A great safety. He broke the ball out even if it wasn't dead. Now it's broken out. He'll kick this two rails. This is a tough ball to hit. Well, all right. Earl the Pearl calling it like it is. Right here, folks. Spread the word. Well, that was ill-advised, really, though. I guess everything's ill-advised. <laughs> it's your comfort zone, right? <laughs> That's the only way I can look at it. So he'll roll up and play the five in the side, the other side. These guys play more shots in the sides than I do. Right. I play a lot for the corners. I don't like playing for the sides because this position's funny all the time. Well, it goes back to your comfort zone, you know. And well, he, he just played to play the combination. He didn't play to run out. See, this can be missed. Yes, it can. This, you know, Trying I know it's, it it's it seems it. like a smart play, but I don't know. I might have ran out there. But yeah, the, I think you would have ran I guess the out. eight to the nine was a little funny. That's why he didn't want to. 3-3. Three, three. He's looking to get he up the game, that, and there he goes. Nice shot, Mike. I guess that was the right play. It was laying there like a dead duck. It was just laying there. So it might have been. It. We didn't have the angle. Yeah, it was pretty much on. 
Not only that, it's I guess if it had been a little bit more off angle, he'd have yeah, to run it's out. Three three also. Short race to seven. Mm -hmm. you know. It's four three to Shane, right? Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, there it is on the screen. But um, yeah, my break. If I could break better, I could. Uh, I think I'd win more tournaments. That's but four arm under the short rail. You didn't let me in on that secret. There. But I, I know what I'm doing wrong glitched? now. I'm putting the wrong spin on the ball. It's the spin. Yeah. And it's causing me to miss it. Believe me, it's weird. I seen you practice and I'll give you the, a good uh, example. Let me let me tell you what's happening. If I break from the left diamond, I should put left spin. If no right spin. If I break from the right diamond, I should put left spin. Everybody else does the opposite. I think. Here's Shaw breaking. I uh, jumped the table. Cue ball off. He's kind of come unravel, really. He ain't played his game here at all. I'm surprised with Jason. He uh, usually plays a little better than that. But I'll tell you right now, the two and the three are in a bad spot. If that's the two on the rail with the three. Oh, he can break it out, though. He's lucky the one's right there. Oh, he can play it off the three ball on the side. Oh, that's the six ball. The six ball and the three ball. All right, that ain't no problem then, because now I can't see it all anymore, you know that? <laughs> I can't see anything. All right, guys, we just had to turn that background. All right, he's got down. the three ball on the side. And then he should draw out, probably draw the ball back in the middle of the table. Because you couldn't go to the rail. And now he'll follow up off the bottom rail or stop. He'll follow this, bounce off the bottom rail, get a little angle. Now this is a tricky shot. He needs to get right on the six because it's frozen on the rail. It's important he don't get too off, far off the rail over yeah, there. You don't want to get too straight on it unless, you know, he wants to roll up for the side. That's pocket. a little more angle than I would like on this shot. I'll tell you that. I don't like playing that seven into the side pocket unless he's almost straight in here. You know, he can just roll this in, though. It's not that much problem and go past the seven like that. See how he did that? That's the correct way to shoot that shot if you if it allows it. You know what I mean, Al? Now he's on the rail. The only problem he's is he, roll this. Yeah, he overhit that. He should have never got on the rail. Yeah, I know what shot. you're saying. You know where I would have played that shot for almost for the corner? He, see, these guys love playing for the sides. And you I want to take the side pocket yeah, out of the equation. Yeah, I, I know I, that's I coming. I like the sides. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go back to the four-corner pocket. Well, I can't wait till somebody plays me like that. I'd, I'd like to see it. No side pockets, right? Yeah. I honestly think you could beat see, anybody in the death. world. Look at this. Now you see. Now, now you see. Now he's jacked up over the nine. The good thing about it is all he has to do is concentrate on pocket in the eight because the nine's hanging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so. He's lucky the nine's right there. Yeah. But this can be missed real easy. But don't touch the nine in the shot. Should, Jose it's Burgos a, is on scene. Watch it's a foul, the shot. Ain't it? Yeah. If you continue to shot, yeah. Oh, good shot. Did it good. That's a tough shot. Especially over the nine also. He'll probably just cut this into the side. That's Mike. He'll cut it in and go one rail yep. straight back. No, he went two rails. Well, two. that's better because it slows the ball down. It's well, usually Mike better to go two rails. I always go two rails in that shot myself. Spreads the lead now, five to three over Jason Shaw. Keep in mind, the gentleman sitting in the booth, Earl Strickland, is in the hot seat. We'll be facing off against the winner of this match. Uh, I'm going to find out about the format in two seconds. Yes, first race is nine seconds. Right now, first race is Okay, then there's a double elimination. Yeah, for first, yeah, yeah, I first, mean double in the finals. First race to nine, the second one is to seven. Yeah, that's yeah. Makes somewhat sense. gratifying. He's got to play two matches to beat me. Uh huh. Yeah, so. and, it, and it's a race to seven on the B side, so. Well, you haven't lost all day, so I, I kind of think that's right. You're not gonna either. Yeah. Well, Earl I figured out a little something with my break, so that's. Yeah, you did. The, the little thing I figured out with my break is somewhat uh, encouraging. You know what I mean? Got me a little bit more excited. So maybe I won't get up and just hand you an easy out every time I break or scratch. Yeah. You know, somebody in the Jason's got to turn this match around. He needs to get out one. That's got to be frustrating, though. When he, when it, the match should be, I, I think it should be like five two. It's five three. Five three five. I, I thought Jason should have won every game almost though. He's had a shot. 
playing a little funny. Maybe oh, he's going scoop. for the 10 ball. Oh, I see. He's, every time he gets a shot, it's a lay, lay, laying a little funny, too. He's going to roll up and play the combination. Oh. He'll play the 4 9 in the corner. And then he's got to face the 5 and 8 in the other corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's Table. getting some funny outs. You know that? He really is. Got to get above here. He that was did a good it. roll. Now he's got to get get just right on this. And the eight's sitting funny where it might go to the rail and not give him a shot. Or the five ball. He'll lose the five ball. He's got to control it. Try to get as straight as possible. Now he's got the angle. That ain't where he I don't know about that. I can't tell how the ball's ain't. He lost the five. I, oh. I, he's got an easy safety, though. No? If he can see part of it, he does. He's kind of self-destructing now, but he's had some funny outs. He's had to play combinations and and draw back across the table. Mike and, DeShane makes these all day long. And then they try the combination. I could have sworn when he played the combination earlier at the 10 ball in the corner. Yeah. Jason. Because he didn't have a pocket for the four. No, I thought that the four would go. I almost oh. believe it would go. Obviously it didn't. Yeah, but he, was, he had an easy, you know, it was straight on and he might have thought he could make it. That you know, could be, too. I do that sometimes. If I got a ball that goes and I'm straight on a combination, I go, just make the combination. And I miss it. Right. Done that before. Well, you're not the only one. And then think, why did I shoot at it? Mm -hmm. I could have ran out. Yeah. That happens a lot with pros. People's got, there's people in pros. You think you, got the shot looks it's the there. He's it. right straight on it. You think you can make it. Yeah. But it's got a little distance, that one. To, well, <laughs> but you just, still it just goes back to standing back up and, and deciding what you want to do and get back down. I it's never good. do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. you got four patents. You're down here and you got four I things I change my on. mind while I'm down. I know. <laughs> I'm <just joking. laughs> no, you do. I'm just joking. You got us fooled half the time here. <laughs> There you have it, Mike DeShane. All on right, the hill. Al. Yeah, you go hit some balls, Earl. And we wish you a lot of luck. Goodbye. And thank you once Thanks again, Earl, for all your work. In, man. Yeah. We appreciate it. I want to thank my by, sponsors. Earl. I'll take the minutes. Go ahead. Thank, uh, I want to thank Mr. Cues and Scott here. He does a great job. Sure does. We come here uh, a couple of times a year and uh, enjoy playing here. He's got a nice table, nice diamonds. And then I want to thank Steinway Billiards that uh, sponsors me and gives me an opportunity to make Manny, a living Anna, right now. George. And George, yep. uh, little George, Maria. They're great people. They really sure. are. They give me a lot of support. They make they make me the person I am right now. Really. New York's behind you. Earl. And Larry Ross has just stood behind me through thick and thin. He's just been a great guy. Yes. And uh, I want to thank everybody and you too, Al. All right. Okay, Earl. Thanks thank you lot. so much. Right. It's always a pleasure. Mr. Earl Strickland stepping out. It's always fun to have Earl in and his true commentary. Uh, these will be uh, uploaded to YouTube. Uh, Make sure you go over to YouTube if you want to see some of these matches that are recorded here. And the name of the channel is AZB T Vision on YouTube. You can uh, subscribe. Or you can actually click the gear after you subscribe. And uh, elect to be notified when we upload our matches. And you will get, uh, I believe it's an email saying that uh, AZB T Vision has uploaded a. Yes, it is another an email. YouTube. Yeah, a match. Play the seven in the corner as well as the eight. There's uh, no give up in Jason Shaw, as we all know. But with this format, uh, alternating breaks. As you see Mike DeShane step in. Say, Jay, that's enough. Now it's six to four. You know, it's always a pleasure. Uh, I don't want to say fun. Uh, and, and part of it is fun having Earl and uh, his excellent commentary. I mean, you know, uh, what the ball's going to do and what English to hit it with. Uh, has something to you got to watch it. You know, if you're an up-and-coming player and Earl tells you how to hit a shot, you can just about bet that's the way you should hit it. He didn't win his world championships or U.S. Opens, hitting it the bad way. And so it was great having Earl Strickland in the booth. And I'm sure we'll have him in later on. Uh, yeah. If you can, spread the word. Earl Strickland and the winner of this match will be playing for the 
in the finals for the championship of the New York State 10 ball championship. First match to seven, uh, second one to nine. If it goes to second one. Yes, yes. If Earl should win from the gate, it'll be over. If My opinion, I don't think it's gonna. If his opponent should beat him, then we get a race to seven. Very informative, you're absolutely right. Very informative. Gotta get Thank you, too that. slow for me. Seeing BWSU and Pops 89, everybody on you. Everybody that's been helping out. Really, it's, uh, it's the only way to get it done. Uh, I know I couldn't do it solo. Um, it, it takes all of us, you know, together we can do it. I believe in it. Uh, seeing BWSU, I've seen your mod, Snooker, and Sloan Mahalik and everybody that's been helping out all day long. You know, originally we were going to make this, a, it was going to be a two-day event. But uh, Jose Burgos decided to make it a one-day event. So we're going to finish this out tonight. We're actually going to crown the champion. Actually jumped to hit the two. And we want to thank you for all your support. Okay, Mike DeShane on the hill has a chance to force a rematch with Earl Strickland. Didn't hit it enough. I think he called a 10. He did call the 10. Now, if this four ball, for instance, if this four ball was, well, you can forget about it. Jason Shore has an opportunity to make this six to five. What a big swing this is. Six to five. Can we have a hill hill match in the semis? yet to be seen. I gotta stand up and stretch my legs, I'll tell you what. Woo. 11 o'clock in the evening on the East Coast. Upstate's feeling a little bit. Sitting down for hours here. Can't fall asleep on Jason Char, that's for sure. If you give him any air, he'll sweep this match right from underneath your feet. Plays good speed, does the cue ball stay behind the six? Looks like Mike might have a piece of the one. The left side of that one ball.
looks like Mike DeShane is in good position to get back for the seven and eliminate Jason Shar. But Jason definitely had a good tournament coming in third place here. And it looks like Mike DeShane is going to have another shot at Earl the Pearl. Straight down the rail, coming right at you. <laughs> okay, Mike DeShane eliminates Jason Shaw by a score of seven to five. We're gonna be right back. Mike DeShane and Earl Strickland coming up in the finals. Right back, folks, spread the word. This is the finals. <laughs> 